Today we're going to be making this logo from TikTok. Apparently it's a very popular thing, but I don't know. I'm an old person. So let's begin. We're going to start off with a cylinder. I'm going to drag this over here and I'm going to keep it at 20, but as I've said in other videos, I don't like the sharp edges around the cylinder. So I'm going to slide this over to the right and the sharp edges are gone. All right, now I'm gonna bring in another cylinder, but this one is the one that erases things. I'm gonna change this to 10. Now, the first time I tried doing this, I changed it to five by five, and I did not like the way it looked. So the 10 was much better. Now, from the last video, I showed you how to center things. Let's see if we can do the same thing here. I'm gonna put the 20 by 20 in a place where I can really see the edges. I'm going to zoom in clicking on this button and I'm going to click on the outer circle first. I'm going to try to get it aligned as much as possible. I need to go to the right if you guys can't see this. Right there is a little bit off so I'm going to move it with my arrows and one more. That is fine. Okay so that is centered. Let me check here and here yeah, that's centered too. Now for the center circle I want that black square to go right there. So I'm gonna move it over with my arrow. One more and centered. Okay, done with that. So now I'm gonna move this down a little bit just so I can see it better. And that's fine. Let's just move it at five for right now. And I'll put this, I'll leave that there. All right. So now what do I want to do? I want to get rid of a bar here. So I'm going to move this over here. And I believe I clicked five last time. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Let's get closer. And I'll put it right. Okay, so here's my issue. I want this to be as aligned as possible with that part of the circle. So let me zoom in here a little bit. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to adjust this block to the right a little bit. And I'm going to take this off so I can be as pre precise as possible. And I'm not sure if you guys can see it moving, but it is very boring, but it's almost there. All right. All right, that's good enough for me. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click, copy and paste, and I'm gonna make that a solid. Because what I wanna do now is, okay, that is painfully slow. I'm gonna move this faster. I want this to align right there. And for the most part, that's fine. However, let me get a close up. I'm moving with my mouse, so I can get closer. There's a little bit of an edge there. I'm going to use my arrow keys on this one. Mm, that's too much. So I'm going to take that off and then I'm going to move it slightly. I think that's perfect right there. Okay, maybe not. One more. That's good. Now this side looks like this block right here it needs to move over a little bit and the reason I'm saying that is because I see a little bit of space there so I want to move it over until I see nothing. All right so I'm gonna put this all together actually I probably need to change the height this height is five I believe five so I'll click on this one click there and move that to five all right so now I'll group them and I have the first part done. Okay, not perfect, but good enough for what we're doing here. When you have something that small of an imperfection when it's printing, you will not be able to see it. All right, however, we are not done. I'm gonna have to undo this for a second because I need that little part right here. And the way to get that is by using what I already have. So I'm gonna undo this. I'm going to copy and paste that. Whoa, I did the whole thing. I'll just get rid of the parts I don't want. Delete, delete, and I'm gonna keep that. 
Okay, this over here I'm going to group again by hitting group. Okay, now I'm going to focus on this. Now based on what I saw here, just needs to have something to get rid of this part here. And I'm going to move that up so I can get rid of the top part as much as possible. And let's make that 30. There. Now I want another one over here. Right about there. Is it perfect? No, it's not. But it will look like it is when we're done. I'm going to group these right here I selected. Now, if you didn't see that, I click and drag until I have all these things selected at the same time. And I'm going to hit group again. And there it is. I'm going to drag this right there. And obviously, it's hard to see from this distance. So I'm going to zoom in again. And there you go. Now I'm going to uh, move this up until I see no distinction between the two. And then I'll move it to the right. All right, that's good. And we're good here too. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bring in a box and uh, let's say about that much. Of course, it's got to be black because, like, you know, the logo is like that. And this right here is the center. And I want to drag it down to a respectable level. Let's just say four. Yeah, that's not too bad. So four, and then I'm going to center this. Oh, I forgot to group those two. Group. And then I want to change it to white because that's what the actual logo looks like. Now, that's about right, but why don't you look at this over here. In the logo, which I'll show you right here, there's this aspect, the different colors. I want to incorporate that into the final design. And I'm going to show you how it's done here by empty spaces. You see that? So, I'm going to show you how I did that over here too. Okay, so I'm going to copy this, copy and paste, and then I'm going to make it a negative. That's what I call these things, just a negative. And I'm going to place it where it goes compared to the logo. So that looks good. And then I'm going to copy and paste that and put it under here because based on the logo and what I'm seeing, that it goes somewhere around there. Okay, and I'm going to get a top view by clicking on top. And I'm going to select these two. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to see how far deep it goes. I don't, don't want it to go all the way down because then when I, when I put the white logo, it'll fall through and I don't want that. So I just want it to go in a little bit. So right there is fine. I'm going to select the black along with shift and then I'm going to group them. And so now everything is selected except for the white. Okay, so there you go. That's how you would make the TikTok logo. Now, in case you haven't noticed, I'm running out of ideas. So please comment below on something you'd like me to design. And I'll, if I choose yours, I'll, I'll make a video and I'll show you how to make it. And thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.